Hello and welcome to Bobbin Talk. In this video, I will show you how I create an individual sequence piece that I used in Clove for this particular file as a top stitch. And this is the file that I created in Illustrator. And this is how it was used in Clove 3D. If you want to see how I've used this sequence as top stitch in Clove 3D, take a look at the file. This is linked into the description. So I would like to create my own sequence. So I came to Illustrator and I'm going to start up a brand new file. I know that I want my file to be about quarter of an inch. Actually, I want my actual sequence to be quarter of an inch. So I'm going to make the file exactly quarter of an inch or 0.25 for width and height. And I'm going to put it at the highest resolution here at 300 PPI. And I'm going to click Create to start my file. Now this is really enlarged. In reality, it is about probably this small, but I want to work a little bit larger so I can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to come here to uh, my tools and I'm going to work with the polygon tool. I know that I want my sequence to be not quite a round shape, but this polygon that has eight sides. So I just left click once in the screen you can choose something different if you wanted to. I want to do eight size. So here I'm putting eight, click OK. And I have my polygon shape here. The outline is really thick. So I'm going to come here to my properties. And I'm, for the strike, I'm going to choose the thinnest, which is 0.25. I'm also going to just move it right in the middle. And I can see that it is a lot smaller than the quarter of an inch. That was because my radius was not quite what it should have been. Now I could come here and change the transformation in the properties, or I can just hold the diagonal, hold shift and just enlarge until I'm happy. What I want to do is leave a little bit of space to the side. And the reason I'm doing that is when the stitch comes into Clow, if it's exactly at the sides, it will touch. If you want to do that, then you can bring the file exactly to the sides of this file. If you want to have a little bit of distance in between the sequence, then you can leave a tiny bit here. So I'm going to bring it really, really close, but leave a tiny bit of distance. So this is my initial outline. And for a sequence, I also want to have a bit more texture in it. So I'm going to create one more polygon inside and I'm going to make that also eight and I'm going to leave it a little bit smaller. So I want this to be just an outline and I'm going to place it in the middle of this one and I'm going to leave it also with the same outline. Now I want to fill this shape with the color that I want and you could create multiple shapes here. You can also create triangles or trapezes or something else that will give you better shading. So next, I want to fill this up with a gradient color. So I'm going to come to my gradient tool, linear gradient, radial gradient, or some kind of a freedom shape. This might actually be even better. So now I can start choosing the colors that I want here for each one of those, what the fill would be. So currently I have all white colors. I'm going to left click on the point that I want, then I'm going to come to the fill, and then I'll choose a different color. Let's say that I want to have something that's more in these uh, pink colors. So I'm going to choose this and you can see the second I click here, I get the shade. So I'm going to choose the next point and then make sure that this is selected. Then come here under appearance, click on the fill and then choose your next color. And you can see that they start mixing together and I'm going to repeat this process for all of them. So carefully select that, click on the fill, and then choose a lighter, darker, maybe some shades here. Then this one, click on the fill, and again, choose a slightly different shade. The best would be to choose different colors, or at least different shades of the same color so that you can see how this would truly change. Once you're happy with that, then you can close this and take a look at your shape. I'm pretty happy that looks like it's pretty much the same color, but with a bit more shading. If you're not happy, you can go back into it and just change the different colors here. Actually, I want to change also the color of the outlines. I don't want it to be black. I want it to be in the same family of colors. 
and I'm gonna choose this to be a little bit lighter so that to me will create a little bit more of dimension and if this is too dark then I'm just gonna go back into it and change this color again so I just want this color to be a little bit lighter okay this is better for me and if you think that you still want to change the shape you could still do that at this stage and I feel very happy with this I can export this currently this has a white background I want to do is export it as a PNG file so I'm going to click file export export as and here I'm going to choose PNG I'm going to put it in a folder that I already have and here I'm going to just select the name I'm going to call this purple sequence click export and then make sure that here in the drop down menu you have transparent as a background and here I also chose the highest possible resolution 300 ppi and just click OK and this now would be your sequence I just noticed here that it might have been a good idea to have a little hole in the middle so I'm going to come back here come to ellipse and just create a little hole in the middle that would look more like a real sequence and it shows the last color that I had here I want this to be actually a, a little bit lighter and I think that's better for me I just want it to be a little larger again I can modify that with my tools and just make sure it's in the middle and now that I'm happy with this I'm going to export it again I'm going to give it a slightly different name file export export as and I'm going to click on this but I'm going to call it I'm going to add hole to it I'm going to keep it in the same folder and again I'm going to make sure that we have transparent background high resolution click OK and now my sequence is ready to be utilized in Clone. Thank you for watching Bobbin Talk. Please feel free to ask any questions, add any comments, and let me know what else you would like to see on this channel.